Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we worked with this input. We have a live search here, so as we type it's going to make a search. So let's say for example for I'm going to search for this one and yeah. If we type more than two characters, it's going to make request a search for this uh, for the tasks belong to this user. But if we have a search here, if I refresh, yeah we lost the search and we lost the input we had here. Well, other string we have here. For that we are going to use the URL query parameters. So if you go to LiveWire documentation we have in the features the URL query parameters and LiveWire allow you to store component properties in the URLs query string. So for example you may want a search property in your component to be included in the URL like this. So question mark search which is going to be equal with what we type in the input. Okay, now this is particularly useful for things like filtering, sorting and pagination as it allow users to share and bookmark specific state of a page. So we can share and bookmark specific states of a page which means if we search for something here and we can uh, have that URL in here and we can share or we can bookmark and then when we visit it's going to remain that search URL and search uh, results. Now let's scroll down so here we have uh, the example below is a show user component that allow you to search users by their name via simple text input the same we have in our project and let's scroll down we have wire model live and then make a for each. Now however if the visitor refresh the page as I told you the search value and results will be lost. Now to preserve the search value across page loads so that a visitor can refresh the page or share the URL we can store the search value in the URLs query string by adding the URL attribute above the search property. Okay, so we need to add the URL attribute above the search or query what you have property here. So here's the example and let's do that in our project. So we need to open the search class and above the search property we need to add that attribute. So the attribute was URL and we need to import not like this URL like this and we need to import that. from the LiveWire attributes URL. Okay, so here it is. And that's it. Now if I save and let's see on the browser. So let's scroll up. So now if the user types Bob into the search field, the URL bar in the browser will show like this. So it's going to, as we type, it's going to update also the search bar. So the, the URL, sorry by adding the search equal with what we type in the input. Now let's see if I refresh first and take a look to this uh, URL if I type P A R as you can see the search results is here and also we have the URL here. Now if I copy this and let's paste in here and hit enter as you can see, we redirect with the bar in the input and also the results for that search input, source uh, string. Okay, so let's close and let's go here. So if they now load the, this URL from a new browser window, the bob will be filled in the search field as we saw and the user results will be filtered accordingly. Very good. We have also initializing properties from the URL. So we can just type in the URL and then, uh, for example, the search will be set to Bob if we type search Bob here in the URL. Also, we have using an alias, so live wires give you a full control over what name displays in the URL's query string. So if you don't have, if you don't like to be searched, you can add a shortened like a queue 
and we have you can specify a query string alias by providing the as parameter to the URL attribute and here we have the example and let's do that let's copy this and let's do the same in our project paste that in and now save now when the user types Bob into the search field the URL will show users Q people with Bob so instead of search it's going to be Q very good let's come here and I'm going to remove now the search also the question mark refresh and now if I type again yeah here we have the results and now we have Q in the search very good now display on page load by default library will only display a value in the query string after the value has been changed on the page so for example if the default value for search is an empty string when the actual search input is empty no value will appear in the url if you want the search entry to always be included in the query string even when the value is empty you can provide the keep parameter to the URL attribute so we can say keep the true and it's going to show so let's copy that let's come here first and I'm going to remove and hit enter yeah right now we refresh so if I refresh the page we have just uh, slash tasks but if I add this keep the true in the URL attribute save and now if I refresh now we have Q which is null because we have null here but if I add by default to be a empty string now we have here a Q equal with an empty string and for example if we type add this in here paste that and hit enter as you can see it's updated also here and we have the results based on this uh, string good now this is up to you if you like to beat the, uh, to keep the search but I don't want that so I'm going to remove now here we have a story in uh, history so by default livewire uses history.replicate state to modify the URL instead of history dot uh, push state this means that when livewire updates the query string it modifies the current entry in the browser's history state instead of adding a new one because livewire replaces the current history pressing the back button in the browser will go to the previous page rather than the previous search value for example if you want so to force livewire to use the history push state when updating the URL you can provide the history parameter to the URL attribute like this and let's copy that and try in our project paste that in hit save and now in the example above when a user changes the search value from Bob to Frank and then clicks the browser back button the search value will be set back to Bob instead of uh, navigating to the previous page and let's see let's come here we have something like this now and I'm going to refresh very good so we have uh, this now I'm going to search for uh, this one okay but if I click now uh, back what is going to be so if I click back we navigate to the previous uh, search now that's it if you'd like to be history to true but in my case I'm going to remove just I wanted to show you and that's it all about this video friends I hope you enjoy all the best and don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best friends